If you're selling your home, here's what you need to know about the changes happening in the real estate industry as a direct result of the lawsuit between the Department of Justice and the National Association of Realtors. In the past, the sellers had paid a commission directly to the listing agent and the listing agent shared that commission with the buyer's agent. Now, the commissions are being decoupled. So the listing agent is responsible for getting commission from the seller and the buyer's responsible for getting commission directly from the buyer. But here's where I'd like to challenge you as a seller and why I still think you should offer commission and compensation to the buyer's agent. Two of the biggest things that are changing is that commission field is being removed from the MLS. That doesn't mean it's not happening, but also your buyer is going to be required to sign an agreement with the buyer's agent with commission attached in order to see your home. So if there's five homes in your neighborhood listing their property and four of them are offering commission to the buyer's agent and you are not, the buyer may actually deselect your home and you put yourself at a huge competitive disadvantage when you're not compensating that buyer's agent or relieving them of that obligation. You've always had your option to not pay the buyer's agent, but without the buyer's money, there's no deal. So I highly recommend you consider compensating the buyer's agent. If you have any questions about how to handle this process as a seller, give me a call. I'm Melissa Pilon, here to help you make your move.